personally, I have also entered into a competitive spirit with fake drugs. One of my products was faked, and this is a true story. Luckily, the Food and Drugs Administration arrested the lady, non-professional. We took her to court. We battled for one and a half years. And the last day for the judgment, it was established beyond all reasonable doubts that the products, three containers full, were faked. Nothing in the, in, in the, in the product. Judgment came. And if somebody fakes in our law, medicine, and it's established, then that person has to pay 7,500 penalty units. And one penalty unit is 12 CDs. And if you multiply by 7,500, it comes around 90,000, 80,000 there about. Those of you who have calculator, please calculate it. But the judgment came that she should pay a fine of 8,000 CDs. So my lawyer drew the judge's attention. That is 7,500 times 12. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I've already signed. My heart broke down. My spirit collapsed. He said, if you don't understand it, take it to appeal. I went to the Attorney General's Department so I want to take this case to an appeal court. He said that when the money is retrieved, it will not come into your pocket. I said, and so what? I want justice to be made. I was so frustrated, I lot the life, I had to give up. If we have such systems, how would the SMEs grow and expand? I appeal to the government institutions to come to the aid of SMEs and let justice prevail. And if you should have international standards somehow, other standards board of Food and Drugs Administration on international level, like Interpol, then we should take cognizance of the fact that there's competition and the competition should be fair. Mm -hmm.